Hi guys, so today I have this very dramatic makeup tutorial for you guys. I wanted to do a tutorial using the Desi and Katie collection from Dose of Colors. Their collaboration with Dose of Colors for so long, but the month of October was kind of like a Halloween tutorial type of month. So when I got it, I've been playing around with most of the things that I've gotten. And when I first saw this eyeshadow palette, I knew that I wanted to do something with Harpoon, like harpoon just called my name and i really love this eyeshadow palette i i just love desi and katie in general because they are like my corazones if i could pick my top youtubers they would definitely be top two i freaking love desi i freaking love katie and when i saw their collection i was just like yes yes so yeah it's finally here i'm a little late and you probably already have seen everybody's opinions on this collection it's not really like a review it's just me using the products I looked on the website to see if anything was still available and everything is pretty much still available the eyeshadow palette everything except the lip gloss and the highlight Fuego. I feel like I've been talking for so long. Oh my goodness. I miss you guys. I've missed my tutorials. I feel like I haven't done one in a while. But yeah, I'm here. I'm here and that's all I have to say. So let's just get right into it. Alright, so like always, I'm going to start off by priming my eye. I'm using the MAC 24 Hour Extended Eye Base. I've been using this a lot lately just because I had it. And I just recently found it in my drawer again and it was a little expensive so I'm trying to use it up uh, it's a good eye base but it's a little expensive $22 for this tube so if you don't have money to spend like that I would just use concealer like I normally do but yeah you just want to evenly just distribute that across your eyelid this will just prime it Give it like a nice canvas for us to lay our eyeshadows down and then once it's all evenly set down want to set that with some powder so that way everything will just be easy to blend um i just use my cody airspun translucent powder and pat that down like that all right so getting right into the eye look i'm going into my zulu palette from juvia's place i'm just taking this yellow eyeshadow from this palette so any yellow eyeshadow that you have is good i just really like the one in this palette and then with the fluffy blending brush the yellow is gonna be our transition shade so this i'm gonna start blending this a little bit above my crease so like right here just so that way when I lay all the other shadows down, it still peeks through. I always start off out here in the outer corner and then work myself into the inner corner and just back and forth. When she wipe emotions. And then for this eye look, I do want to kind of like wing it out. And I'm not really that good at like winging out my, my shadow. But I tried it with this one, so we're getting there. If you're not really good at it either, I would recommend just placing some tape right here just so that everything just stays in that line. Or you can always go back at the end and clean it with a makeup wipe. But for this, for what I'm doing, you could do that. Or what I'm doing is just like whenever I get to the end, I just sweep it this way. Just so that way it just all goes that way now that that yellow is down i'm gonna go in um shadows that i'm using from this palette this palette is not available anymore it was like limited edition it's like the anastasia world traveler palette in my opinion this is the best palette she's ever come out with but i'm taking morocco and i do know that she sells that separately but i'm taking a brush that's more precise just to get into that crease it's precise but it's fluffy this is the coastal sense br 250 brush and so we put that we put that yellow above our crease you want to focus this a little bit closer to the crease so just first thing i do is just lay it down and then following that shape i start off like this and then i turn it just so we can distribute that product and the darker the colors, the less I start off with, and I just build off of that. So, yeah. I'm 
and then if you ever feel like your transition color got lost like that yellow isn't as bright anymore you can always go in go back in and just like sweep it across key to these very dramatic looks is just to start off with little and then build up and just keep blending and blending and blending it might look kind of crazy at times but in the end it all comes together that's what I've learned thus far now that I have that Morocco shade down I'm gonna go in with fudge and this is like a nice chocolatey brown I know she sells this individually too any chocolatey brown that you may have and I'm going in with this Luxie 237 brush it's very very precise hella hella precise and it's gonna help me get right into the crease i start off on the outer and then work yourself this shade is just basically going to define the crease and then you want to like sweep it out And then you can go back in with Morocco and blend the edges of that out. For the green, I'm going in with this Rimmel London Glam Eyes Quad Eyeshadow. I don't know if they still sell this anymore. I don't even remember where I got this from. It's probably expired. I'm just mixing these two green shades together. Any dark green like olive shades that you have. If they're matte, that's fine. These are shimmers, but these are a really nice type of shimmers. Like it doesn't really get in the way of blending. Any matte olive green shade that you have, go ahead and use that. And this is basically going to... We're going to basically create a halo eye with this. So I'm taking like a really precise brush, like a little pencil brush. And then I'm going to just place it on the outer like right here outer it's gonna look like what is this but trust me it's this is the way i do it map it out um and then in the inner corner just place the color right there and then you want to connect those two at the top right here and it just take that green eyeshadow and kind of just start winging it out a little bit no extra product just whatever is on there then you're gonna want to go back in with the fudge shade and then blend the edges of that green this is where you can start winging it out because it'll automatically start pushing that green down and then you can go back in with Morocco, every color that you blend it in with, basically. And just make sure to blend that eyeshadow out. And the last color that you want to go and sweep across is that yellow. Let me just go back in and pack that green on. Because I don't know, it's not as intense as I want it to be. The star of the show. Uh, I'm taking the girl's eyeshadow quad and I'm using Harpoon, this greeny shade. This was like the shade that stood out to me the most out of this palette. So yeah, I'm just gonna wet my finger here. And then I'm just gonna pack that on the center of the lid where I didn't put any eyeshadow down. And this, I'm not being too precise. Ooh, that looks so good. It looks like money. Then I'm just going to wipe the edges of my eyeshadow just so everything's a little bit cleaner. So I'm going to do the rest of my face off camera and then I'm going to come back and we're going to finish up the eyes and all that. So yeah. To finish off the lower lash line, I'm going to go back in with that yellow and take a really tiny like blending brush just so I can get into that lower lash line real easily. And I'm just going to smudge that yellow on my lower lash <laughs> much that yellow on my lower lash line so that's the first color i'm gonna smudge and i'm dragging this out a lot just because i want that yellow to peek through 
I'm gonna go in with like a really per like detail brush, like a flat brush. And I'm gonna go back in with the greens. And I'm just gonna smudge that on my lower lash line closest to the waterline as possible. You don't want to smudge this all the way just like you did that yellow because then it'll look like you have raccoon eyes. And yeah, you don't want that. So you want to smudge that closest to the lash line and then you want to connect it to your eyeshadow up here. So if you want to blend that down like that, that way it all like comes together nicely. And then this, I'm not taking it all the way in just because I don't want to. I'm just going to stop halfway and just kind of like move your, your brush like this just so it could fade that line. Lastly, I'm going to go in with Morocco. I'm not putting fudge on my lower lash line just because, I don't know, I feel like it'll make it a little too harsh. So I'm going in with Morocco and kind of just like diffusing the lower lash line. I'm just going to go in with this yellow eyeliner i always tight line my eyes whenever i wear falsies now just because it makes everything look a lot seamless and there's no gap between your lash line and then your the lashes so i'm gonna just tight line at this black and then i'm gonna just add some mascara this is the l'oreal telescopic And then, like always, I'm going in with my Coco Lashes in the style Queen B. These, if you haven't tried these lashes, I definitely recommend you try them out because they're just so bomb. Now that my lashes are on, I forgot to put lower lash mascara on, so... Make sure to do that because when you do these dramatic looks... You want those bottom lashes to stand out too because your your lashes are dramatic your eyeshadow is dramatic your lower lash line is dramatic for inner corner i want to try out this um nyx prismatic eyeshadow and gilded uh i don't want to mess up the look because it's really really gold but i feel like it would tie the look really well together and just like a teeny tiny amount just to see. Um, yeah, that could work. Put a little bit of Sue's on top of that. Then I'm just gonna set my face and apply my highlight. I'm gonna go in with my Milani Make It Last setting spray and you want to cover your eyes just because you have mascara on your eyes and you don't want that to get wet so for highlight i did get their highlight i got fuego because i thought that would match my skin tone the best yeah 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 Last thing left is just lips, so you guys already know if I'm doing a dramatic, very dramatic eye look, I'm most likely going to go in with the nude. 99% of the time I'm going to go in with the nude. So I got more creamer, please, by the collection as well, and I've already like worn this out and it's so good. I need my lips with the NYX suede pencil in Sandstorm, so you guys know that my favorite nude is london by nyx like the soft matte lip cream but i feel like more creamer please is slowly but surely going to replace it i don't know it's just it's just such a nice nude Alright guys, so that completes this makeup tutorial. It's very dramatic and very out of my comfort zone. This is something that I would wear to like a New Year's Eve party. Um, Walmart. <laughs> As always, thank you guys. Thank you so much for watching my videos, for making it this far into the video. If you have any suggestions, leave them down below and I will try to get back to that. I will have a pony too. 
soon soon i know a lot of people have asked me like how do i um get my ponytail i'm not wearing it today so yeah i will have a video on that up soon so yeah thank you thank you for watching and i hope to see you in my next one bye guys Thank you.